Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're gonna be solving a physics 7C practice problem on the topic of the wave equation. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like, it really helps our channel. Okay, so this is the problem that we're gonna be working with today. So, <clears throat> Agustin creates a one-dimensional left moving wave on a 10 meter long string as shown in the plots below. The displacement versus position graph is at a time t is equal to 3 seconds. The position of the displacement versus time graph, however, is unknown. Uh, and we have a bunch of questions. So how fast is uh, Augustine's wave uh, traveling? At what position x along the 10 meter long string mm -hmm. is a point whose behavior is depicted in the displacement versus time graph situated? And also what is the equation for this wave? Now I'm going to show you a picture, uh, you know, a bigger picture of the graphs that we're going to be working with. However, um, as you should know by now, because this is what like the uh, seven video that I do, I'm going to be posting a direct link to the uh, PDF. So like if you rather work uh, on this quiz, like on the original PDF, if you want to print it out or if you want to look at the graph, whatever, link is going to be uh, down on the description. So, okay, let's get started. So as you can see, I, you know, made a little drawing of the graphs that we are going to be working with. I don't know if we're going to need to go back to the original, but I recreated them, you know, as best as I could. So let's just get started. So the first thing that they want from us is the velocity. So how fast is the wave traveling? Now we know from our uh, auxiliary equations that velocity is equal to lambda, so distance divided by time. So basically we just have to find out both of them, lambda and uh, t, and so that's how we solve our problem basically. So this is a y versus x graph. So from a y versus x, x graph, remember, we can get our lambda. Now, usually the way in which I do things is I graph two maximums and then I just measure the distance between two maximums. However, this graph clearly doesn't have two maximums and it. it's, too, it's too chunky. So what we are going to do is we're going to take our distance from max to min and then we're just gonna multiply that by two. Mm -mm. So this to this, so this distance is lambda divided by two, right? Because it's from max to min. And this distance is one, two, three, four, five, six. That means that lambda is equal to 12 meters. Again, I have to multiply by 2 because this is not max to max, this is max to min. So that's pretty much how it works. And for this other graph, I also usually go from max to max, but uh, you know, I didn't copy the graph that well, so maybe I'll be able to do it on the PDF, but not necessarily here. However, I'm just going to go from this point, and it goes down, up, down again to this point. And if you go from here to here, then the distance of this wave... Again, I usually do max to max, but that is just so arbitrary. You could just do whatever two points and you should get the exact same result. So uh, this is t, so we're getting a period, and then the period is 1, 2, 3, 4. Like this. So velocity is 12 meters divided by 4 seconds. So velocity is equal to 3 meters per second. And it's moving left. Alright, so there we go. So now let's see for part B. At what position x along the 10 meter long string is the point whose behavior is depicted in the displacement versus time graph situated. Be sure to explain your answer. 
Okay, so basically we don't really know what this x is over here, so we have to figure it out. First of all, on this graph right here, the one that we do have, we see that this is at t is equal to trees, like this. So that means that if we go over here, this is a point in space. Now, yeah, so like this is a point that we are representing over here. So t is equal to 3, then you go to t, and then you just put it over here. And you can see that uh, t is equal to 3, y has to be equal to 0. So basically two possibilities. We are either over here or over here. Because again, even though this is space and this is time, this is the same wave. So if y is equal to 0 at t is equal to 3 here, then it, that must also be true over here. So it's either 5 or 9, and then the way in which we figure out what it is, is that this wave is moving left. So this wave is moving like this, in this direction. And then as time goes by, so like as time goes by over here, we see that y actually goes towards the negative side, so like it goes down. So if we shift this graph like this, if, 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 the, if the purple graph like moves, then this guy will go up and this guy will go, would go down, right? So like they would like follow the wave. So that means that our final answer is that we must be um, x is equal to 5 because uh, at t is equal to 3, y is equal to 0, so that leaves two possibilities, and then the wave is moving left. As time goes by, movement should be down. There we go. All right, so that would be part B. And now part C, they want the equation. So they always end up wanting the equation. So let's see. So our equation, so let's just, uh, let me grab a different color, let's say, okay, let's go pink. So let's just find all of the parameters for our equation. So our amplitude is just basically grab your max and grab your oh there should be a 0 0.1 i actually copied it wrong so it should be 0 0.1 so just as this one over here and then let's just use this one 0 0.3 0 0.1 and then the distance over here is uh one two three zero point four divided by two that would be equal to 0 0.2 centimeters Our displacement, so our y not, is maximum minus amplitude. So maximum is 0 0.3, amplitude is 0 0.2. That means that this is plus 0 0.1, which means that the wave will move 0 0.1 upwards. We already have our lambda. Oh, this should be centimeters. No, this should be meters. Yeah, no, this is fine, this is fine. And our time constant, well, not our time constant, our period is four seconds over here. So now basically all we have to do is find, um, yeah, we basically need to find our, um, our phase constant, right, our phase constant. 
So I'm gonna use the substitution method. Uh, and for my substitution method, let's see. So I'm just gonna use this point over here. This point over here. So if I'm looking at this point over here, this is t is equal to three, x is equal to one, y is equal to 0 0.3 and then i substitute my equation right so that would be 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.2 sine of uh, 2 pi times 3 divided by 4 and then wave is moving left so plus 2 pi times 1 divided by 12 plus the phase constant plus 0 0.1 so that means that the um, let's see 0 0.3 divided no it's 0 0.3 minus 1 so 0 0.2 divided 0 0.2 is equal to sign of all of this so let's see this is six fourths six pi four and then this is two twelves plus the phase constant so um this guy over here, multiplying times 3, 8, 10, 20, 12. So let's see. Uh, my phase constant would be equal to sine negative 1 of 1 because this is just 1, and then minus 20 pi over 12 like this so let's see 20 pi over 12 so sine negative 1 of 1 is equal to 1.57 that is equal to half a pi so this is pi halves minus uh, 10 6 can we, can we do halves? I don't think we can do halves. So like this, and then we just put it in a calculator because I'm too lazy to do fractions today. Uh, so this is one half minus 20 twelfths minus one. No, 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 but give me the grown-up version of it, 7, 6. So this is equal to negative 7 over 6 times pi. There we go. So now that we have this, we have everything that we need, basically. So I'm just going to write the final answer. I'm just going to put all of this together. So uh, y of x and t is equal to 0 0.2, which is the amplitude, centimeters, times uh, sine of 2 pi t divided by period, which is 4, and then left, so this is plus 2 pi x divided by lambda, which is equal to 12 minus 7 pi 6 and then plus 0 0.1 and the entire answer is centimeters so here we go this is the final answer to my problem there we go so whatever method you want to use to find the um, you know the phase constant is fine um you know so, so as long as it works it's fine other than that, this is the end of our problem. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. 
as usual it really helps promote our channel when you give it a like if you give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys on the next video bye